Hey guys, and welcome to I Want My Eggs TV Reviews. I'm Sarah, and today we are gonna be talking about the Netflix original movie, Falling for Christmas. Falling for Christmas is a new holiday movie starring Lindsay Lohan and Cord Overstreet. Lindsay has talked a lot about how excited she is for this film and that she's back in the genre that made her with fun comedy that she typically excels at. The story of Falling for Christmas is pretty simple and it's something we've pretty much seen before. If you've ever seen Overboard, Falling for Christmas is Overboard at Christmas minus all the creepy stuff. If you know, you know. stranger off the street. Lindsay plays heiress Sierra Belmont, who is very out of touch with reality. She has an influencer boyfriend who is also very out of touch named Tad. And when they go up to a mountaintop in order to get engaged, an accident happens and Lindsay loses her memory. Like I said, it's overboard. Cord Overstreet plays Jake Russell, a widow who now runs his late wife's family's mom and pop ski resort that is going under. And he even asks Sierra's father for money to help him save the resort, which of course he says no. First, we need to figure out who you are. What do you mean, who I am? My name is, my name is. So what are we supposed to do with her? When Sierra gets amnesia, it is Jake who finds her and ends up taking her back to the resort and teaching her how to basically be a human. Like I said, this is very much overboard at Christmas at a ski resort. However, there isn't a huge like bombshell. There isn't a huge twist. And unfortunately, even though like the blueprint was there for Falling for Christmas to be a fantastic film, Lindsay seems to have forgotten how to be funny and she and Cord also have zero chemistry. Are these used? Probably, but you know, sometimes guests leave things here by accident, so. Not sure this was left here by accident. Honestly, George Young, who plays Tad, is the person who steals the film for me. I thought he was really funny. He delves right into this super shallow character and he even goes on his own side quest adventure that I found more interesting. Let me also say, I have been a fan of Lindsay Lohan's from the beginning, from the Parent Trap era and beyond. So when coming to this movie and it's supposed to be funny and a rom-com, I almost feel like she phoned it in. Like she knows she can be funny. She knows this is in her wheelhouse and just showed up and half did it. And this makes me really upset because I was looking forward to this movie. I love bad rom-com Christmas movies. So I had high expectations going into this because it's Lindsay Lohan and she's fantastic and I love her. And I was so excited for her to be back in something. <sighs> but while watching this movie, I kept going from like, oh, this is like a fun three and a half star movie to a two and a half star film because it's just so bland and lackluster. It's been almost two days. What, no one's found me yet? Like, unclaimed luggage. One thing that Overboard has as its conflict, which also adds to kind of like the ick factor, is that Kurt Russell knew who Goldie Hawn was the entire time. And this film doesn't do that. So he genuinely falls in love with a person he doesn't know, and she genuinely kind of falls in love with him. Maybe if they had any kind of chemistry. There's a moment where they're supposed to kiss and you don't even have to look very closely to see the body double. So I don't know if maybe one of them was sick that day or maybe they just don't get along or one has a clause that they just don't kiss people in movies. But the entire time that you're supposed to watch them falling in love, they don't. And it's really disappointing. What is going on with the chemistry of all the rom-coms right now at Netflix? because Kat Graham and the guy from Umbrella Academy also had zero chemistry. So let's work on that. Overall, I feel Falling for Christmas is definitely like a background movie. So if you are having friends over with a game night and just want something on in the background, then do that. I do appreciate that it's only 90 minutes. 
because this two-hour movie thing is getting out of control. So thank you for that. That's the jingle. Yeah. That's the jingle bell jar. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, I'm Sarah. Make sure you subscribe to our channel. Comment. Let me know what you think of falling for Christmas. Because <sighs> I want it to be so good. And ring the bell so you don't miss out on any more angsty videos. Okay, bye.